Hello YouTube and welcome to another Linux tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how you can monitor your hard disk using the smart technology. So are you ready? Let's get started. Well actually smart stands for self monitoring analysis and reporting technology. So first thing first we have to install the package. So here I'm on Ubuntu, so in order to install it, it's pretty easy. Up, get, install. Then the package name. The package called Smart Monitoring Tools. Okay, then I hit enter. Me, I have already installed it. So it's installed. Okay. So then the first thing you have to do is to check if your hard disk support smart or not so in order to see that you have to execute the command always with the uh, root privileges smart ctl minus i then here you have to specify your device or your hard disk so in order to get your device it's better to use another command called fdisk minus L okay actually here I'm having two hard disk it's the second one is called dev stp which has almost 300 gigabytes but the first one is called dev sta which has nearly 80 gigabytes so I'm gonna test just this first hard disk okay so I return back to my command here So as I said, in order to see if your hard disk supports smart or not, you have to execute the command smart set L minus I then your device, which is dev sta. Okay. Then I hit enter. As you can see here, it gave me some info about my hard disk. It's from Seagate, as you can see here, the model name, the device model, the serial number but also the capacity as you can see here it's around 80 gigabytes but the most important lines are the, the last ones the last two lines as you can see here smart supported is available and it's enabled so i can use the smart package in order to test my hard drive so if you want to see the the test that you can perform on your hard disk it's pretty easy also you have to type smart ctl command but with minus c actually minus c stands for capabilities so here you can see at the bottom my hard disk supports two tests actually short one it's called short self test and extended one and here it gives me the average time of execution which is around 1 minute for the first one and 36 minutes for the second one okay so in order to execute a test I can do it with option minus T which stands for test and I can just type here short test because it will last just one minute so it's okay and here the test has been executed in order to see the result of the test I can issue the command minus L which stands for list with the option self test okay so I can see the recent view result of the tests here I can see that short offline test has completed without errors so it's good I can tell that my hard disk is good and there is another short offline test that I just executed but it's in progress and there is extended offline test that was aborted by the user you can also view the results of the test using the command minus a so minus a a stands for all so it will give you a bunch of information 
as you can see here first it gave me the information about my hard disk okay as you saw before then the different tests then here uh, a table that allows me to see the results okay so these are the all the routines that smart set the L commands execute in order to test my heart disk so a very useful command that you can execute smart set the L with option minus H but capital H okay and here it gives you the overall health of your hard disk which is best which is which means that my hard disk is actually in good health so this comment actually gives you a summary of the health of your hard disk okay and finally I want just to tell you that you can also view the configuration file for the smart I'll use here the VI or she edit yes she edit editor in order to see this file which called smartd.conf so if I open that file you will see you can tweak your uh, ah I miss I miss write it the G edit editor actually it's G edit okay so this file contains all the parameters that you can tweak in order to execute the smart set L command because you can run tests offline on the background whenever you want so you can take a look at this file in order to tweak all the parameters the options if you want so that was just an introduction to this beautiful and useful package that you must execute in order to see the health or to monitor your hard disk as always i hope it has been informative for you and i want to thank you for viewing bye bye